everybody. Energize. Well, back at the uh, Lowe's. Is this Lowe's or is this Home Depot? I think this is Home Depot. I'm back to buy more paint. I'm starting off a new helmet called an ice helmet and I have to buy some satin white paint. Satin white or satin bright white? Uh, we'll see. Here again is my selection. I'm looking for satin white. Uh, let's see. Which is satin white here? Hmm, looks like they got a whole bunch of them missing here. This whole row is missing here and this this whole area is missing there. Let me look for satin white. There's some white semi-gloss. Look for satin though. This is satin. This is blossom white. Now what's blossom white? Uh, what the, what's, what makes that different from, you know, bright white? Here's some flat white over here. Uh, this is one of the colors I need. Uh, this is cherry red, I guess. I needed to make uh, my uh, my Washington Valor helmet. So we go cherry red or sunrise red? This is sunrise red. What do you think? For a Washington Valor helmet? What should I get? This is cherry red. This is sunrise red. For a Washington Valor helmet. What do you think? Cherry or sunrise? I think another thing I need is a heat gun. A heat gun to take off the uh, the labels. The hair dryer won't cut it, so I need a real heat gun like this one here. This one here, look. This heat gun is made by Wagner. And it is $23, which is not a bad price. So maybe I'll go ahead and buy it. This heat gun here. Okay, now I'm kind of looking for like a like a little bookshelf. Where could that be though? Maybe it's under the under shelves. I think I'm thinking about replacing one of my one of my bookshelves with the uh, a smaller one, something not so big because it's kind of big. And I want to replace it with a smaller one so it doesn't take too much space. So it's here somewhere. And there would be. Got a snake in the grass. Uh, let's go down this aisle here. There's not too much people here. Whoop, spoke too soon. What aisle are we in? This is the cement aisle. I'm not really looking for any cement. Right now, at least. Maybe later. Okay, I think that's it. See, I got some paint. I got the heat gun over here. Couldn't find the shelves that I was looking for, so I'll just do it next time. All right now, I just want to pay for this and go home and do some more <coughs> painting. Okay, let's do it. Customer needs assistance with self checkout. That wasn't a very good start, was it? Customer needs assistance in self checkout. Hey. Hey, Pete. Can I see your. And the heat gun. Find the. Uh... Please remove your card. Would you like an e receipt? No. 
thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. We're done with the Home Depot. Or the Lowe's. Is this the Lowe's or the Home Depot? I mean, I think it's the Lowe's. Oh no, it's the Home Depot. I keep getting these places confused. They all look, uh, they all look alike to me. Lowe's or Home Depot? Turns out I was at the Home Depot. See, I like to park way out in the boondocks. That way, uh, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to park in between uh, a lot of people. I have to park by myself and not have to worry about other people parking around me. Even though it's a good walk from the entrance, it's fine. It's good exercise. And it's not that cold, really. Nice and sunny. Not that cold, but still cold. Anyway, I got my paint and my heat gun, so I'm good to go. I'll see you later. Well, this is my next project. It's a Washington Redskins uh, Color Rush Blaze Helmet. It's called a Blaze Helmet because it's a blaze kind of color, which will be kind of gold and yellow. The first step is to lay down the gold. This gold over here. Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold Spray Paint. That lays down the base, the gold base coat. And I'll be putting down the uh, the candy yellow uh, top coat soon. And this is the face mask. As you can see, we just I just spray painted Colonial Red. Gloss Colonial Red. This will be the face mask on the Redskins uh, Blaze Mini Helmet. You know what? While I'm here in the uh, storeroom, I'm going to look for my other uh, my other snow shovel. I hear it's going to snow tomorrow. And the one I have at home is just too big and heavy. I have one here that's a little bit better. A little lighter, but still does this just as good. It's here somewhere. All these suitcases that I don't use anymore because we can't travel. Here it is. This is the other snow shovel that I have. This is much lighter than the other one. Much less strain on the arms and, you know. Here is the candy yellow translucent paint that I'm going to use. I bought this online on eBay. It's a translucent candy yellow paint, but the uh, label came off when I was warming up the paint. But trust me, it's in there. Candy yellow translucent paint. And that's the first coat of translucent candy yellow paint. As you can see, it's starting to turn a little bit yellow, but you can still see the gold underneath. And that is exactly the effect I wanted. I want it to be uh, yellow, candy yellow, but also you can still be able to see the gold underneath. As you can see, it's, uh, it's only the first coat of the candy yellow translucent. And I'm going to be putting in maybe two or three of these coats. Okay? Okay. And here is the face mask for it. As you can see, it's already completed. It's already painted. That'll go right in the front of the Blaze helmet. And as you can see, it's nice and burgundy. Okay? Good job. As you can see, this is the final coat of the candy yellow translucent paint. And uh, as soon as this dries, I'm going to start putting it back together again. Well, building my latest masterpiece here. This is the most fun part of building a helmet is putting it back together. You get to see it put together. As you can see it's a nice gold finish. It's a gold base paint with a translucent yellow uh, cover. That's how it looks kind of gold. It looks kind of yellow at the same time. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this is like the most fun part of putting together, of building a helmet is putting it together. Because you see it come together and you see it start to look good. As opposed to before, it was just a, a shell and it was just, you know, just an empty shell. But you put it together like this and you see it come together and you see it starting to become a helmet again. And that's the most fun part of building this helmet, these helmets for me. The least fun part is probably uh, 
Probably sanding. I hate sanding. You know, that's uh, the most tedious and most uh, not fun part of, uh, of building these helmets is sanding right in the beginning. But after you do that, uh, you paint it, and that's kind of fun too, because you see it come alive with the paint, and then you put it all together after the paint's all dry. And, uh, well, it's not completely together yet, but it almost will be. Soon. Okay, so the pads are in, and now I'm kind of just uh, resting the pads into the helmet by scooshing it over my head like this. See that? <clears throat> See? Pads are in. I'm just kind of flattening the, the pads, making it stick to the helmet by putting it on my head here. <clears throat> making sure the pads are nice and secure. Okay, there are the decals. They are installed on the helmet and they are perfect. Yes, it's starting to look really good now. <laughs> My latest Redskin helmet project. Washington Redskins Color Rush Blaze helmet. Decals are on. Well, are you ready? Ta-da! There it is. The finished product. A Washington Redskins Color Rush Blaze helmet. Yeah! It's all uh, actually it's not all done, but almost done. I just need to put the Riddell label on the back here. But basically it is done. Now I will try to find a nice place to take photos of it. Nice artistic photos. And it'll be good to go. Now I gotta wear it, right? Let me go wear it. Let me see if I can wear it here. See if I can wear it. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Red 98. Red 98. Sam. Okay, well, I'm just finishing up this uh, mini helmet that I'm building here. It's a Washington Redskins uh, Blaze Color Rush helmet. As you can see, the finish uh, turned out well. I put, I spray painted a, uh, a coat of gold first, gold metallic, and then a couple of layers of um, the uh, translucent uh, candy yellow, which resulted in this this finish, which is a beautiful finish, which is the finish I wanted to to have. And now I'm just gonna finish it up, put the face mask on, and the tiny little decals right here, and we should be good to go. Okay. After hitting it with the hairdryer for a few minutes, and now it looks good. All the bubbles are gone, it's all flattened down, and it looks cool now. Even the stripes are cool. Yep, that's the trick to it. If there's too many bubbles, just hit it with the hairdryer. Are on there, as you can see. The cheek pads and all the rest of the pads are inside. All we need now is the chin strap and the face mask. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are all done. A Washington Redskins Color Rush Blaze Mini Helmet. All done. As you can see, it looks like a real authentic Blaze Mini Helmet that you buy for $400. But, I don't have $400 to just buy a, you know, a Blaze Mini Helmet, so I made one. You know, the helmet, uh, originally it was a uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers helmet which was on sale I got it for like $15 and then the paint uh, maybe $5 for the paint and the decals there was around uh, $8 because it's not just these two decal decals that I bought I bought like a set of eight of them and then that's it so all in all it cost me maybe uh, 35 bucks for the thing as opposed to spending four hundred dollars on uh, on uh, something you can buy online or on eBay because they don't make these anymore you don't make these anymore because of the name Redskins so if you want to buy an authentic one a real one it'll cost you a lot of money so I just decided to make one okay and this is the end result and so there it is that is my Washington Redskins color rush blaze helmet as you can see Beautiful job. Now it's ready to be displayed. 
This is my next project. This is gonna be another Washington Redskins helmet, but this is gonna be a multicam camouflage helmet similar to this. I've always wanted to make a Washington Redskins camouflage helmet, and now finally I'm going to be able to do it. Well, this is my next uh, helmet project. As you can see, it's obviously a camouflage helmet. And uh, I think it did a good job. It's kind of weird looking, but, but hell, you know, it's unique. Okay, just putting the finishing touches on my newest helmet here. It's a Washington Redskins uh, camouflage helmet. As you can see, I'm just putting on the face mask. And uh, once the face mask is on, it should be good. Oh no, this thing disconnected again. I'm just doing the finishing touches on this newest helmet of mine. It's a Washington Redskins uh, uh, camouflage helmet, multicam. As you can see, I painted it camouflage. I just need to put the decals on. That's the oh, and the uh, chin strap. I forgot. I should have put the chin strap on before I put the mask on. Ah uh, well, here it is. Almost done. Washington Redskins camouflage helmet. Okay, it's all done. This is my Washington Redskins camouflage helmet. It's a multicam pattern, or at least uh, I tried to make it look like a multicam pattern. And uh, it's pretty close to a real multicam pattern as I could get it. So here it is. Washington Redskins camouflage helmet. It started off as a, uh, a white helmet, and then I painted it camouflage. And this was, uh, what color was this? I think this was blue or red. And I painted it yellow. And the decals I stuck on there, and now it looks pretty cool. If you tried to buy an official one of these on eBay or anywhere else, first of all, they don't make them anymore because of the Redskins name. But if there was one out there you could buy, I saw on eBay uh, they were selling it for $600. Multicam camouflage Redskins helmet. But I think I'm only going to sell this for $300. That's quite a bargain. Yeah, because it's a beautiful camouflage helmet. It's unique too. With my own personal, my own personal touch. See that? It's an original me work of art. Okay. This is my next project. Uh, as you can see, I've already taken off the face mask. Uh, the blue face mask uh, is my next project. This is going to turn into a Washington Redskins ice helmet. Ice helmet, it's called. It's a white helmet, matte white with silver decals. It looks pretty cool. I've seen it, and I can. Uh, I've seen it uh, being sold online for about a six about six hundred bucks. And if I can make it, because it's easy to make, it's just just paint the helmet white and then I bought the silver decals for $30 and that's it and I'll paint this silver and I'll have an ice helmet okay that's what this this is gonna be it's gonna be a Washington Redskins ice helmet I've already taken the helmet apart all we have is the shell it's just the shell here and the insides I put in the bag like this to organize it all the pads all the hardware are in here, just for better uh, organization. Next step is to sand it. I need to sand it, that way it's nice and uh, smooth. As you can see, the stripe is on. The silver, white, and gray stripe. It's a single piece that comes on, it's on. Okay, now it's time to put on the main decals, as you can see. These are the main decals. One goes on the left, one goes on the right. Well, one decal is on, as you can see. One decal is on, and it looks good. Okay, there you go. Both decals are on, this side and that side. Those are the major decals, and all we have left are the minor decals like that. So, uh, yeah, looking good. I just need to uh, hit a hairdryer on it and it should flatten down really nicely. 
you can see the padding is on. Most of the padding that is, I still have to do the cheek padding, it goes right here. But most of it is on, and it's looking good so far. Here's a nice chin strap. It's a nice white one, which matches the helmet. See? It goes right there, and it, it'll be good. <sighs> All right, now the chin strap is on. I like to put the chin strap first before the face mask, because it's, it's easier that way. Because if I put the face mask on, and then the chin strap, I have to take out this clip and thread it through the thread it through the face mask and then put the clip back on so but this way I can just put it on and put the face mask on mask as you can see it was originally blue I painted it silver to match the ice motif look at that huh look at that all right time to put the face mask on so ladies and gentlemen it's about 98 percent finished now all we have to do is the rear bumper and the US flag decal and the warning decal. That's all that's left. Otherwise, it's done. You see that? It's done. My Washington Redskins ice helmet. Ice, ice, baby. Boom, 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 boom. This is it, the complete product. Right. Ready for display or sale. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there it is. That's my Washington Redskins ice helmet. All complete and ready to display or sell. So I sell. <laughs> ready for sale. Ready. Ready to sell and ready for display. Beautiful. Washington Redskins ice helmet. Right there, ladies and gentlemen.